Here we are. The bridge is up ahead. It seems safe enough here. Where could they be, though? Unbelievable. This must be where the ship is operated from. I wonder how... Hey, don't just go around touching everything. This much will be of little harm. Midas, stop being a child. <sighs> I swear. All right. I'll start by checking for any life signs other than our own aboard the ship. The escort that Gaston mentioned may also be in a nearby sector. I knew it. Is this another celestial ship? It looks really different from what we've seen so far. <sighs> it's a scorpion vessel. It may look like a ship. It is actually a single life form. Uh, you're saying this thing is alive? If it's come to pick up the Colonel and the others, does that mean they're aboard this ship? Huh. Is it moving? It's adopting an aggressive stance. It must be targeting something. There we are. It's after the ship, carrying Lieutenant Kenny and Raymond Lawrence. So that is Ray and the others? It seems to me they may be pinned down in hiding to avoid the Scorpion vessel's attention. One careless move can cause them to be perceived as a threat, and then destroyed. No! Is there nothing we can do? Just remember this the next time we negotiate. What are you doing? The Tyrannus was originally a Federation ship. If they're nearby, I should be able to. The Federation transport ship Akizuki. We should be able to help them from planet side. So we can aid them? Yes. I should have a channel through to them shortly. Ah. Ray! Leticia! Ray! I am so glad you are safe! You are facing off with a Scorpion ship, yes? What's going on? Leticia, why are you with Lola? We'll get to that later. Lola to the Akizuki. The Scorpion vessel is gaining altitude. It's begun to circle around while decreasing absolute speed. Decreasing absolute speed? You mean it is adopting an aggressive posture? We are still in the shadow of the planet and cannot confirm this from our end. Strategic and schematic maps still display a predicted trajectory. Lola, can you send your schematics over to us? Already done. Thanks. There they are. Damn it. Cutting comms for now. I hope they are safe. There's no way to tell. Everything now depends on their skills. Hooray! What happened? It just exploded! Wait, wasn't that the one Ray and the others were aboard? No. I'm detecting transfer signatures. I believe they may have escaped. My guess is they're close by. <sighs> Leticia? We're safe, somehow. Far be it from me to interrupt this joyous reunion, but I've pinpointed the Emperor's location. They're still inside the Tyrannus. What? W what do you mean, the Emperor? There's a good chance that the Scorpion vessel that destroyed your ship just now is here to collect Colonel Valange and Gaston. And perhaps, the Emperor. And what is Boldor hoping to accomplish aboard this strange ship? The Emperor knows of the Scorpion. Leaving them unaccounted for wouldn't be a good idea. Not for me, and not for Osarius. 
<laughs> Let us be off. There is no telling what they will do if we leave them unchecked. Got it. I'm with you. If they know something about that Scorpion ship, I definitely want to hear it. Okay. You will have to wait outside. The interior has been fortified by Colonel Valange and the others. Once we know it's safe, I'll have Raymond Lawrence contact you. Huh? Oh, yeah, gotcha. Understood. Ray, be careful. Let's make our way. The Colonel and the others seem to be down on the lowest level. All right, then. I gotta say, though, seeing this ship crash right into the surface like this is kind of impressive. Invigorating as the attainment of new knowledge. Not bad. Not bad at all.
practice couldn't hurt. Things are finally starting to click. Things are finally starting to click. This couldn't hurt. Still have room for improvement. Reporting newly identified prowess. Looks like this is gonna be its own maze of sorts. You sure we can get through here? I can. I was just in there anyway, so I'll lead the way. It would seem there are yet enemies afoot, however. Best proceed carefully. Detected ahead. <laughs> there was a vertical transport system somewhere in the area. What's that now? Oh, you mean like an elevator? Just a cargo transporter.
Initiate emergency protocol. I will take point. Target is stuck. No. Organic life form detected. Inconvenient, but we'll need to take this above first before we can use the turbo lift. Let's use the turbo lift here. The Colonel and the rest should still be down on the lowest level. like they're here. I wonder what they could be up to. Ah, our visitors. Let them enter. Colonel. Gaston. Emperor. Uh, that's Valange and Gaston. Remarkable. To think that a single being could destroy a ship that sails the ocean of stars. <laughs> You're talking like you saw it with your own eyes. It's not like you commanded the attack. You may take it that way if you wish. Scorpion would not attack those unrelated to the network, at the request of those who have yet to be successfully integrated. What is this, Colonel? Why does the Emperor know so much of the Scorpion? A simple reason. Duma? Huh? That's a Duma too? Right. This particular Duma was dispatched to the planet Veer. It came with us when we fled our homeworld. anything about this Colonel Gaston explain yourselves so you want to integrate now huh did those two whisper some sweet somethings into your ear I found the Scorpion ideology espoused by Valange and Gaston to be most compelling I realize with certitude that this is the future I sought Therefore, I will have Duma examine the suitability of the races of this world. 
In good time, I shall have all inhabitants of this planet integrate with Scorpio. Princess Leticia, your wedding ceremony with Gerard was meant to serve as a glorious prelude to this. You mean to say that you attacked Osirius and Nilbeth to subjugate the world? And force the population of the entire planet into integration with Scorpium? Subjugate? Force? What a lamentable misunderstanding. Integration is the path to transcendent evolution. It will guide the citizens of the Empire and the Kingdom to happiness. That is not possible. Not a single soul in Nilbeth would wish for such a thing. Regardless of whether they wish it or not, such a future is now their fate. Even as we speak, the Scorpion Sovereign is traversing this way to collect me. Sovereign? So cybernetic life forms have leaders like kings and emperors too? There is no leader rank corresponding with the term Sovereign within Scorpion. My special Duma, have you considered that your understanding of Scorpion may not be all there is to know? Impossible. And yet this is another aspect of Scorpion. Am I not correct, Valange, Gaston? to pass then your journey ends here we cannot have you interfering with the Emperor any further amuse yourselves with them until the sovereign arrives as you wish This is the might that comes from integrating with Scorpion. This is too much for one man to wield, Boldor. Why do you seek such power? Yes, too much power for one man. Your words strike true. For I, and eventually all who dwell on this world, will transcend the limits of a mortal and obtain the power of the divine. Power of the Divine? Uldor, are you...? It is time. They're transferring! Get back here! We shall meet again, my dear children. That you, Antonio? Ray, you okay? We're gonna be there within the hour. Got it. Contact me again once you arrive. Everyone is currently planet side. Copy that. Uh, I just got confirmation that the unidentified ship you mentioned broke orbit and entered subspace warp. What the hell happened? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Uh, understood. Anyway, just hang tight. Antonio out. Ray, will you not take me with you? You want to go after Boldor? Not quite. I wish to go forth and protect this kingdom. No, 
this entire planet. If Baldor means to integrate everyone on this world, then I cannot sit idly by as someone who claims this place as their home. Let's head back to the Royal City for now. Ray! Look, I hear you. It's great that my brother's coming, but if I take you guys along with me now, everyone back at the castle would think I'd kidnapped you. And a certain someone is likely to make a fuss. And just who are you referring to? At any rate, better to sort things out properly before we leave. I understand. Ray, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, we're fine, Chloe. But, well, I don't really know where to start. For now, let's meet up outside the Tyrannus. You got a visual on us, Ant? Great. Transfer us up in about three minutes from now. This is... I understand how determined you all are. But from our side, we really want to maintain good relations between His Majesty and Dr. Marcus. I understand. I will go and request their approval. Yeah. And when you're ready... All you need to do is press that button. Gather everyone who wants to go out into space, uh, choose some place discreet. Understood. I'll be waiting. Got it. He better not leave us behind after saying all that. Don't worry, Uncle Midas. He left that thing with Leticia, after all. Yes. So for the time being, let us return to the Royal City. We must inform the others of Bulldor's doings.
an excellent find. We must report to my father in the castle. We should make our way towards the castle. It's easy enough to see from anywhere around here, but I wonder how it looks from up in the sky. Forgive our intrusion. We have some... That was a fine collection of wares. We shall part ways here for now. Part ways? We are on the verge of venturing to unknown worlds. Surely you must all have preparations to make? Nina, Maester Midas, Lady Malkia, please use the Fulga if needed. Ah, uh, yes. From the air, we can reach even Nilbeth in the blink of an eye. Oh, right. Dr. Ezen. It has been some time since I left Ada. We shall reconvene tomorrow at midday in the castle courtyard. Please spend the time until then, as you see fit. <laughs> okay, we'll be back before you know it! I shall return. Leave without me and I'll never forgive you. We shall see you tomorrow. What's going to happen to me after all this? I assume I have a date with the Executioner's Axe. Do you still not trust us? Without you, there is much we will never learn about what took place on the Tyrannus and the battle to come. Please, aid us in our cause. Did you not come to our world in search of a peaceful life? Now then, I must report to my father. Theo, what is it? I'll leave it to you to report to my uncle. I have another stop I would like to make. Cousin?
words are difficult to believe, but after all that has transpired, I have little choice but to accept them as truth. Father, Baldur has escaped to the stars with those responsible for bringing misfortune to our world. If left unchecked, I am certain he will disrupt the peace of this world once more. You will give chase, even into the sea of stars above? May I have your permission? I believe you feel it is your duty. Precisely. Your Majesty, I shall accompany the Princess and guard her with my life. And what of you? Your Majesty. My planet was invaded by the Scorpium. The... A strange life form that Emperor Baldor attempted to implant on Princess Leticia. The world I knew is no more. Now, your planet faces the exact same crisis. I sincerely believe Princess Leticia's journey into space, the Sea of Stars, as you call it, will be paramount to the future of your entire planet. Very well. Father... I myself have seen but little of what extends beyond the stars above. It would bring me great joy if all of you were to learn more about that world. Albert and Lola. I entrust the fate of our planet and my daughter in your hands. My lord. Understood. Safe travels, my daughter. I will. And I will return to you, father. Our preparations must be as thorough as possible. Good grief. Princess, if I may speak with you about Theo. Protecting the mm -hmm. private chamber of his majesty and the princess. Apparently, he is in the dungeons. What? 
Duke Lambert was returned to the cells after the battle with Baldar and the Imperial capital. Theo may harbor some lingering feelings. Hmm. I wonder if we cannot convince him to join us on our journey. If the request is worded strongly enough, then perhaps. Our kingdom needs his strength now, as much as it does mine. Let us go speak with him. If you have any other unfinished business, it would be wise to take care of that as well. True. It would not be right to keep Ray and the rest waiting. We should return to our chambers and rest once we have finished our errands. Best get some rest once all matters are attended to. yourselves for battle! Target sighted. <laughs> Target sighted.
exquisite. And Theo should be in the cell to the back. How exquisite! Threat detected ahead. Victory will be ours. Initiate emergency protocols. You will know pain. Another day. How oh, exquisite.
yourselves for battle. They will regret the choice. Here for a visit? Cousin Theo, what are you doing confined here? No explanation is needed. A better question would be why you allowed a key perpetrator in the coup d'etat to remain outside these bars until the end of the war. Well, that was in the past. We are now in need of your aid. With what has become of Boldor? Letty, I understand your plight, but ask you to leave nonetheless. I am of no use to you now. These are no ordinary times. If you wish to redeem yourself of your involvement in the coup, how better than by obedience to your princess? You too. You seem to suggest it was only Letty and the king my father and I betrayed. Our actions caused sedition among the ranks, ending the lives of many a soldier. By our command, Osarian brothers in arms spilled one another's blood. Freeing me from this cell, will only act as salt in the wounds of this kingdom, which has only now begun to heal. Cousin... Know that in any other circumstance, I would not hesitate to fight at your side in such unprecedented times as these. But as it stands, my presence would not serve either of you, nor Ray and the rest. Please, forgive me this. Surely, there must be some way we might make use of Theo's immense capabilities. I find myself in agreement with his fears. I suggest you reconsider such aspirations. But he says himself he wishes to fight to defend us. Perhaps I had best speak with my father. He may offer us insight. I understand your plight, but ask you to leave nonetheless. I am of no use to you now. How exquisite! 